you ever heard of Marie Curie? She found two new elements for the periodic table, polonium and radium. She also did some work with atoms. Today, we're going to be learning about Marie Curie and her incredible life. Marie Curie was born on November 7, 1867. Her maiden name was Maria Sklodowska. She was the youngest of five siblings. When Maria was a child, she lived in Warsaw, the capital of Poland. In that time, Poland was ruled by Russia. Maria loved to learn. She ended up learning five languages in her lifetime. By the time Maria was 14, her father had been fired from his job as a science teacher. Her mother and one of her sisters had died. At 15 years old, Maria graduated first in her class. After high school, Maria went to live with relatives in the countryside. Maria was ready to start college now, but only one person in her family could go at a time. The university in Warsaw didn't even let girls in. Maria and her sister Brania both attended classes at the Flying University. It was called the Flying University because it had to move around or fly from place to place to avoid Russian guards. Maria and her sister both wanted to attend Sorbonne University in France. They decided to take turns and Brania would go first. Maria stayed back and earned money as a governess. A governess lives with a family and teaches their children. She liked the job for a while, but then she realized they were treating her like a servant. Now, her sister had finished school, so Maria went to France to study. She changed her name to Marie. When she got to Paris, she stayed with her sister and her sister's husband. They were both doctors, and everyone had to come to their house for treatment. Marie did not like living there, but it was free. However, she did like studying at the Sorbonne University. She could choose whether to take classes, and it was even a choice to take tests. Finally, six months later, Marie moved out, rented her own place much closer to Sorbonne. It was cold, and she didn't like it, but it was her own. French was one of the five languages that she learned to speak. Three years after starting at Sorbonne, she graduated first in her class once again, ahead of all the men. She ended up getting a scholarship to stay another year, and she studied math. This time, she came second in her class. Her professor asked her to stay and study magnetism. Marie had a tough time getting results. Some friends introduced her to Pierre Curie. Pierre and Marie were very similar. By the time Pierre was 23, he was teaching college. Soon after they met, Pierre fell in love with Marie. Pierre offered to leave France to come to live in Poland with Marie. Pierre and Marie were married on July 26, 1895. Marie Curie decided to study rays that come from a metal called uranium. These rays, called Becquerel rays, so-called because Henry Becquerel discovered them, they gave off a charge we now know as radioactive. Marie came up with a theory that radioactivity was a property in the atom. After Marie tested uranium, she decided to test a rock called pitchblende. This rock gave off even more rays than the uranium alone. Marie just discovered a brand new element. She decided to call it polonium after her homeland of Poland. She named the energy rays that came off of it radioactivity. After trying to separate polonium from pitchblende without success, Marie found something even better, another new element. She called it radium after its strong radioactive rays. After three years, they still had not separated pure radium just something called radium salts. The radium salts glowed in the dark. In 1902, she finally gathered pure radium. They didn't know it, but radium was making Marie and Pierre very sick. One day, Pierre and Marie got a letter in the mail. It said they were going to get a Nobel Prize. 
who did not mention that they would be getting a huge amount of money, though. Pierre wrote back to the letter and said they couldn't come to the ceremony. He lied and said Marie was sick. The prize had only been around for three years, so they didn't know what a big deal it actually was. Marie and Pierre were in the headlines of all the newspapers in France. People were falling in love with radium because it glowed in the dark. They thought it would heal people and cure illness. They were partly right. It does help treat cancer, but it can also give you radium poisoning. On December 6, 1904, Marie and Pierre had their second baby girl. She was named Eve. Seven years earlier, they had had their first baby girl on September 12, 1897. Her name was Irene. Sometimes, after winning the prize, they took vacations to the seashore. On April 19, 1906, Pierre went outside to go to a science meeting. After the meeting, Pierre went back outside. Pierre began to cross the street, but a huge wagon hit him. Pierre tried to get up, but he was weak and he fell. The wagon ran over him again, and he couldn't get back up. Pierre had died. Marie fell into depression for many months. After that, Sorbonne invited her to take over Pierre's teaching job. Marie fell in love with a married man, Paul Langevin. A horrible scandal broke out. Later that week, Marie got another letter. She had just won her second Nobel Prize. After the scandal, Marie got another letter. They wanted to deny Marie the prize. Marie said she would accept the prize. She had won it after all. On July 4th, 1934, Marie Curie died from radium poisoning. Even now, all of Marie's personal possessions are still too dangerous to touch. They're still radioactive. There are two museums named after her today. The Marie Sklodowska Curie Museum in Warsaw, Poland, and the Curie Museum in Paris, France.